Dude, I think Nintendo should be furious right now. If you haven't heard, if you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, Nintendo has allowed its first official emulators onto the Apple App Store. And it has blown up to a proportion that I didn't think was possible, okay? So a couple days back, there was a there was an emulator that got onto the App Store called IGBA. It was a Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color emulator that, came, that went on the App Store that turned out to be stolen code um, for another emulator. A couple days after that, there was an emulator named Adboy that came out that added NES and um, SNES uh, emulation onto Apple devices. And then finally, three days ago, the Delta game emulator came out on the App Store. This is a NES, SNES, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, and DS emulator with more to come. <clears throat> and it blew up like crazy number one most downloaded app on the app store in one day and i think me a random a, a random dude from australia who just loves video games i think nintendo should be furious if you haven't heard of me before i'm i'm duelist uh, i make content on youtube twitch and tiktok i just wanted to have a talk about this because i'm super passionate about nintendo i'm super passionate about emulation and i think this is so cool a um, little bit of background i in 2011 booted up my mom's uh, plastic macbook one of the old ones that was like all white plugged in my iphone 3gs and jailbroke that shit to the point where the battery exploded <laughs> i put i put um gba4 ios on my iphone 3 way back in the day way back in the day coolest thing ever and then to think now apple is finally allowed proper emulation onto the app store natively off the brand new iphones it's incredible since it came out, I've literally non-stop been playing it. Uh, I've downloaded all of my ROMs onto it. I have everything there. It, it's just awesome, man. Um, and I, I genuinely think Nintendo should be furious that this has had such a like cultural impact. Like, it's kind of crazy to call it like a cultural impact, but the fact that it's the top performing app on the App Store in one day, it, it just shows that there's a massive demand of people playing retro games on the devices they have on them all the time. I don't know. In my head, if Nintendo weren't so elitist about their IP, about their hardware, they could have done so much with this, man. The Nintendo Switch Online platform. It gives us a way to play our old favorites. Like what? We have NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and N64 currently on there. It's literally what they're offering on the iPhone with the emulators. Except it in <sighs> Okay. I, I, I need to I need to be a little bit careful on how I phrase this. It doesn't encourage pirating because I don't think emulation is correlated to piracy. But the average consumer who's hearing about an emulator being on the app store downloading it they're not going to go through the effort of dumping the files of their games and then putting it onto their phone they're going to search up one of those emulation sites download the roms straight onto their phone and pirate the games like it's just more convenient that way you know and with Nintendo cracking down on some of these emulators like the user emulator and Citra em emulator, the Switch and 3DS emulators that they've just shut down and cease and desist. They could have they could have done it themselves, you know? They could have had like they, they could have made ports of all of the Pokemon games, charged 20 bucks a pop for them, and people would have bought that. They would have bought that like hotcakes, man. It would have blown up. I'm glad that it's an emulator and we can do it ourselves and there is this option, but I just think Nintendo should be furious, man. Or they should get their heads out the fucking ground and let let people play the games, you know? I don't know, man. I like I'm I, I love the facts that we have it. Like I said, I've been playing it non-stop since it came out, and I think it's so cool that we finally have access to all of these old games on our mobile devices, the computers that we're carrying every day. Um I just think Nintendo could have done it themselves and made a killing, you know? Not that I'm a Nintendo snob. I like Nintendo, but I think they're a shit company and I don't want them to do better. <sighs> that sounds wrong. I, they, they make a lot of mistakes and they're not like the best company, but 
I just feel like they could have done so much with this, you know? I also think the introduction of emulators onto the iPhone increases people's chance of pirating stuff that they wouldn't have if there was another option. And I think that's the whole reason why they shut down the Yuzu and Citra emulator, to make sure that people weren't pirating their games as much. But if they gave us an option to be able to do this, because I'm pretty sure my the, the iPhone 15 Pro, the phone I have, is more powerful than a Nintendo Switch. Like, if they were just more open to... Open to the exclusivity a bit, I, I feel like it just would have done wonders for the, for the for gaming in general. There are a bunch of negatives that come with... Then uh, that come with emulation being so widespread. It has been on Android forever since Android's inception. Um, but you know, now that it's finally on Apple phones, it's a it's a lot more in the mainstream. I feel. Now, a couple of effects of this that I think are really interesting is I reckon the introduction of emulation onto mobile devices i reckon it could create a new span of mobile gaming like a, a new era of mobile gaming that focuses more on quality that focuses more on effort like i don't know for for a while mobile gaming has been the most stale brain dead brain rot crap ever it's always games that are super low effort just trying to pinch every single penny out of you that they can possibly can and now that they have, like, a lot of the people who are playing mobile games have access to playing old retro games on their devices, I think it could have some really positive uh, effects to gaming on mobile devices in general. We're seeing at the moment this change of attitude when it comes to gaming in general. With AAA companies making ship games that people aren't buying, it's not making much money, and the indie scene rising, right? I think we could expect to see something, maybe not to the same extent as AAA is experiencing right now, but something to the same extent in mobile games. More quality games with more content, with um, better focus on the experience than what we've been received in the past. I, I think that's super interesting to think about. I can kind of... Uh, it might not happen. It's, it's just a pipe dream, but... I reckon mobile gaming needs to step up its quality like quite a lot. And now that we have access to these retro games, there are like the peak of gaming, some of them. Like Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Black and White 2. Sorry, Black and White and then Black and White 2. Or... They're just two Pokemon examples, but they're some of the best games ever made, in my opinion. I just think it, it wouldn't be so alien to imagine a world where mobile games step up their quality quite a bit and i think that's really exciting um i'm so impressed also about how well the emulator runs and how easy everything is set up to work it, it, it's so cool it's interesting it, it's imp <laughs> introducing so many people to the hobby and i think that's great um for emulation for modding for gaming in general i think everything's so positive about it i I'm, I'm enjoying it so much since it came out i literally haven't put up put down my phone every single time it's stopping me from scrolling too i think that's a positive change guys i'm no longer scrolling on tiktok because i'm training my fucking team pokemon dude i'm sitting there i'm like okay uh what pokemon do i need right now so i got a for alligator i'm gonna get gengar and then i'm gonna get tyranitor i'm gonna get the sickest team ever Oh, my Ghastly's only at level 13, and the rest of my team's at level 17 right now. I need to train him up. And then I'm grinding, dude. I'm grinding. I'm going to be a Pokemon Master in like a week. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm so keen to revisit some of these games from my childhood, too. Some of the few that, I, that I've downloaded that I'm keen to get back into. I've got Mario and Luigi Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story. Absolute classics that if you haven't played, now's your chance to pick them up. It, it's so great that we are able to play them now. Um, of course, you got the, the Zelda games that came out on the DS system with the Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. They're really good ones that I'm keen to revisit. And Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, dude. When was the last time we got a good Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game? I'm I'm going to replay um, Explorers of Darkness, which was the copy that I had as a kid. And 
yeah, I just can't wait to revisit all of these games and experience the nostalgia. I'm so happy it's available and so easily accessible too. I just, I just think it's it's all great. I do think that there are some negative, um, negative connotations that can come from this. Um, introducing more people to piracy is obviously a bad thing, but the effects of that. I mean, emulation isn't a new concept at all, so I don't know. I don't know how much that's going to increase. But, I mean, looking at the Google Trends, I think we have a five-year peak for emulators, ROMs, DS ROMs, etc., those sorts of search terms. So, who knows? Who knows for the repercussions of this? But I just wanted to have a chat about it because I think it's so cool, and I'm so glad we have it. And, um, yeah, I wanted to hear your thoughts about it too. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this kind of talking head style topic video. Uh, I just wanted to talk about... The, the Delta emulator and how much I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, and let me know in the comments below what games you're revisiting now that it's out on the App Store. Uh, if you are revisiting any. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.